happening. Uh, tis the season for mushrooms. It is mushroom season, so we have Julian Bond here, executive chef of Pacific Culinary Arts. Hello. Hi, guys. Uh, wow. Beautiful selection of mushrooms, and that's the beautiful thing about Vancouver. You, you know, you go to either it's TNT or your local Whole Foods or your, your supermarket, and you can just, you know, gone are the days of brown and white and a right. couple of portobellos. Now your selection is just, and people don't know what to do with them all, so we're going to show them. Let's do that. A couple of sections with a couple of mushrooms. The first one, it is a season four. Chanterelle. Chanterelles. And normally the season would be wrapping up right now. Now you're saying we could actually find these in our backyard. Oh, you go up to Lynn Valley. Oh, people are going to get upset with me for saying Lynn Valley. There's no mushrooms in Lynn no Valley. No mushrooms don't go. in Lynn Valley. Don't go there. <laughs> but you're going to see, um, especially with this rain. Yes. It's actually extended season because it's nice and moist. The mushroom can grow beautiful. Uh, and you can see them everywhere. So normally it wraps up mid-November. It might go on to the end of November now. So as you go up there. but. I don't encourage people to do this. Okay, so uh, I'm, I'm a novice. I know what a chanterelle looks like, but I would be but you? nervous if because to if see it in nature. It doesn't look. There's one. Yeah. There's another one, and and there's this thing. I mean. Yeah, I There's some be that sure. look very close and very sure. And I get so many people, you know, they knock on the back door of school, I just pick this mushroom, can I eat it? You shouldn't even touch a mushroom if you're not sure what it is. I mean, even the, the fumes, the pumes, the, what do they call it, the little particles that come off the mushroom? Yes. Even those can be toxic and really bad for you if you're not picking the right mushroom. So my golden rule is support your local grocer, Go buy your chanterelles from there, or, or, or find them and, and buy them, and oh, you're going to have such a feast. And cook them in butter. Cook them in butter. So here we go. Mushrooms, oh, butter. Ooh. There you go. <laughs> Mushrooms, Mushrooms and butter. butter. <laughs> and then that's so what you can do. Sort them and then put a little bit of wine. Go for it. And then give them a little. The magic of culinary with Julia Bond. And all you're going to put in there is a little bit of cream. Okay, just a little? That's it. Well, a little for me is a lot. So a little bit more. Off. And let those cook down. And that's all you're going to do to them. There is nothing, nothing more delicious than that. Nothing else you want to do to them. Second thing, shimijis. They look like these little guys right here. Right. And nobody knows what to do with those either. So these ones, is, I cooked them when we did that little, just a little teaser before the break there. Yeah, that's and it. Look at them. They're fully cooked. All you do is you find your favorite stock. You pour those inside. It Whoa. smells unbelievable in here, you people. You take a steak. Yes. Just a simple steak that we had ready. Just a little. Not too bad. Put it around. And then, Jody, look at this. Watch. You take that. You put that right on your steak. You don't need a vegetable. That's it. You don't need a starch. You just say, my goodness me, that's Enjoy mushrooms, those mushrooms and steak and just delicious. Salads! Can you make salads? Make salads. Be careful, that's hot. I'm with it. I this, sense. Okay. A little quinoa. Very careful, the ball's hot on that okay. side. And this one are called enoki. And they're little straw mushrooms. And if you smell them, Dig in. They, when they're fresh, they smell like strawberries. They do. And because they're so thin, they cook super fast. So all you do is take it, Cut it and sprinkle them into that salad. That's it. That's it. That's it. It's super easy. And then you throw them into the salad, and the dressing on the salad will cook these little straw mushrooms. Simple, easy. This is quinoa with radish, a little pine nuts, and a little lemon. The and acid in lemon, there is going to cook it. You let it sit yeah. for about three minutes, and that cooks it. Even that alone, like that, looks beautiful. There's a reason why you said you did it. Even more, my goodness Wait, me. There's more funky little mushrooms like these guys. You know, it's, it's Movember. <laughs> Here we go. You look like Movember. You have to go. Well, that's actually looks really bad, doesn't it? These are called pom pom. Some people uh, call them goat's like beard there for a second. or lion's mare. Yeah. And they taste like lobster. No way, really. Don't eat it raw. We're gonna cook I it. I want to eat a smelling it. it. Jeez, it Julian. So you take little things like uh, these beautiful portobello. And what's a portobello? It's a big brown mushroom. That's all it is. It's you a big me that. brown mushroom, oh. nothing more. It's got its own name now. We charge a lot more money because it sounds fancy. So I there would be a test, Julian. <laughs> He's but an educator. They've got. I am an educator, aren't I? It's got this thick skin on it. See this? Right. And it peels off super easy. Okay. Do that yourself. Look at all that. Right. All right. And if oh. you take that off, that was easy. Super peas, peel it off. You end up with something this and like this, and I've roasted this. Mm. So I peeled it, roasted it, a little salt and pepper, and these little mushrooms here. You can turn that off for me a second. Yes. I've cooked them down with some regular mushrooms, just some regular white mushrooms and some brown mushrooms, and they taste like that lobster feel. So you can say, hey, I've got lobster cooking. Is that what's in and here? And it's in here. And all I've done with this is I take this, I put it inside the mushroom. This one I want to try. You I put some cheese on top. Right. Little cheese on top. And oh. it comes out. Magic of television, here it comes. Okay, only 30 seconds like to go. Oh, that's okay, we're gonna finish in 30 seconds. You keep so. plating, and I'm gonna take a moment to acknowledge what oh, is happening for you. This, this. I know, no, he said, do, don't do it, he'll kill me, but I'm doing it anyway. Uh, you are being honored as educator oh, of the, the year. Oh, my goodness me. This evening. See, and I know nothing about education. I, I really don't. I just, I'm passionate about food, and I love food, and I think food is beautiful and brilliant, and, and to me, that's the most exciting thing. Look You're at those chanterelles. You're the most chanterelles. humble man. No, I'm not. And you feed us. We love Julian Bond, Pacific Culinary Institute, executive chef talking mushrooms. Hold on, there's a shot. I'm so eating this.